top of the Sports Max Zone for this Thursday. The 10th edition of the Netball Jamaica Elite League is set to begin on Friday at the National Arena in Kingston. There is a new partner in Red Stripe who are the title sponsors, making the league officially known this season as the Red Stripe Netball Jamaica Elite League. Six teams are set to compete with five named after parishes, plus the under-21 Sunshine Girls who are preparing for a World Cup qualifying tournament in Guadeloupe later this year. Joining us in, uh, to discuss this uh, is the president of Netball Jamaica, Tricia Robinson. Tricia, welcome to the Sports Night Zone. Great to have you on. Let me start by asking quickly about the under-21 team because I recognize there is a under-21 World Cup qualifier coming up this summer. Um, and it's logical, I think, to give the girls some good intense practice against seniors. Yes. Thank you for having me on your program. I know that you call them the sunshine girls. They're not the sunshine girls because they're not yet capped. You're not referred to as a sunshine girl until you play on the international scene and you are capped. Okay, fine. We take that. Well, talk mm -hmm. to us about them then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are preparing for their World Youth Cup that's scheduled to be in Gibraltar, Gibraltar in 2025, September 2025. They, however, need to ensure that they qualify for this. And so they will have to participate in the upcoming regional championships. And that is scheduled for July 7 to 14 in Guadeloupe. Yeah. And um, talk to us quickly about the, the, the tournament itself and how different, apart from the title sponsors, it may be from previous years that we have seen. Oh, wow. Um, well, certainly it's the first time we're having Red Stripe on board supporting us, and we're really, really happy for that. We have our regular hydration sponsor, Power Aid, also on board with us. Um, so exciting features to, to the setup. We have the Red Stripe technical timeout. We have the Power Aid power play moment similar to what's happening in the Suncorp League so it is going to be interesting to watch um certainly looking forward to it five teams um and the under 21s making the six teams so it should be good yeah and you speak about the six teams um Trisha Manchester Spurs are the defending champions and they're going to yeah. of course come out really strong hoping that they can defend that title what do you think president I believe that all teams stand an equal chance of walking away with the title. And let me tell you why. In putting the teams together, the, the, our leagues committee, what they did, the teams had the opportunity, before the coaches were named for the teams, the leagues committee and the coaches, they had the opportunity to look at the pool of players and to select the top seven players that they wanted across the board. So the teams were evenly placed. Yeah. So any, any team can come out the winner. And the remainder were chosen from a draw that we had two weeks ago. So having been named as the coach for the teams, um, you then have the opportunity, as I said, to draw for the remaining players. And so that added to the excitement. So on top of the seven base players that you have, um, you have the opportunity to pick other players. Yeah, and the thing is, as one of the broadcast partners, Sportsmax will be covering the event. I think that's yes. really good for us to know that our viewers will be tuned into really competitive netball. How much um, are you looking forward to that as well? Because one of the things we talk about on this show is the fact that, you know, for quite some time, a lot of our viewers around the Caribbean was not able to see what was happening in other countries. Um, this netball competition being on the channel gives the other countries the opportunity and of course international scouts, people that are looking on, the opportunity to see the local players. You know, our elite league is the, the top league in the country and from this league it gives the it gives our players the opportunity to showcase their talent. And if you look at our girls who are playing in Australia, our local girls here get to go on show and they too get the opportunity to go abroad, to be seen, to be selected. And of course, that can only bring good to our national program itself. Yeah, Trisha, talk to me about the quality that will be on display because we know that a lot of the top Sunshine girls um, play in the Australian Suncorp League and so we will not have those massive names taking part in the elite league so what are we to expect from what remains in terms of the overall quality so 
you may not have the massive names however you have excellent local talent here because remember it is from our local talent pool that we put on the international stage and so you will have the top players in the country playing in the teams and so it is going to be difficult to predict a winner and i too am looking at you know it is it is the perfect opportunity for us to see new talent here and and it is the perfect opportunity for these players to make themselves available to seen by our coaches by our recruiters to move up into the national program yeah i know in previous seasons you know matches have been played at different venues i realize you start at the indoor sports center this weekend um is that where all the matches will be played because We've had situations in the past where players have said, listen, we want the best possible surface to play on at all times, especially because this is the country's top league. That is true. The playing surface inside the National Indoor Sports Center, the arena, is dependent on availability. And so we have to work between the venues and outside our Leela Robinson courts. It is, it is our home from the National Stadium, that is. And you also have to appreciate that, that we share it with other sporting bodies. And so there will be times or there may be times that we will have to give up the space um, for another sporting entity, but for the most part, the games are scheduled to be in the National Arena or the National Indoor Sports Center. Yeah, and in terms of the format of the competition, last season I remember had um, where the, the semi final round they played best of three, and I think the finals as well was a best of three, if I remember correctly. Is that what will be the case this time around as well? That should be the format that we will be holding to this season, yes. Yeah. And can you say why? Because, I mean, we see quite often with other sports um, and other events that even if you have a best of three semi-final round, then when you get to the final, it's usually just down to one game. What's the reasoning behind, even after getting to the final, um, having a best of three? You know, I'd love to answer that, but that's on my technical team just now. Um, I'm not so sure why why the best well you know what it gives the teams an opportunity three games best 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 of three gives them an opportunity to come back just in case eh um and i i really believe that that's what the leagues committee looked at in determining or coming up with the idea that they wanted a best of three final yeah and i guess as well for the players it's an opportunity to get more match practice against high level competition which is what the elite league is all about that is true. Yeah, so we definitely look forward to that. Well, Trisha, we'll be um, seeing what happens um, throughout the course of the Elite League. We'll be looking for um, future Sunshine Girls, um, those preparing themselves to be Sunshine Girls, and we'll see if we'll unearth any new talent coming out of the Elite League this season. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, let's go to a break on the Sports Magazine. We'll be back with more after this.